Hello, good afternoon from a very rainy Thursday afternoon in the UK. I hope you're all well. I'm not too bad, although I'm trying to put on a brave face. I am bursting for the loo. I really need a wee. So if I'm a little bit sort of overexcited and, you know, sort of moving around a bit, wriggling in my seat, that is what it is. But I can, I, I can wait. I can hold on for a few minutes. So I'm going to try not to be too long and just get on with it. I wanted to start with a little Shakespearean quote. Before I forget, got the phone here just in case I misquote, as I have been known to do in the past. So this quote is so simple. It is literally, nothing will come of nothing. I mean, you can't say fairer than that, can you? You put nothing into something, you get nothing out, <laughs> obviously. The context of it is slightly, it's Similar, but slightly different, if that makes any sense whatsoever. It's from King Lear, the play, the Shakespearean play, King Lear. And King Lear is basically about a bloke who's, you know, on his last legs, dying, trying to work out who to say, just to leave the kingdom to. And he's got one lovely daughter, Cordelia, who's a real good egg. And then he's got two absolute cows called Reagan. I mean, you can call her Regan if you're from the UK, but I like the American version that is used in The Exorcist. A good name for her. Regan stroke Reagan and Gonorrhea. That was right. You heard correctly. Not Gonorrhea. Gonorrhea. So, oh, she has a really good speech as well. I really like Gonorrhea. She's a bit of a, a feisty cow. Anyway, so Cordelia is the good daughter. The other two are real. They, they want to get their hands on his fortune. They, they don't give a toss. They don't give a flying fig about their dad. They just want the money and the title and the kingdom. And Cordelia, the good girl, she just loves her dad. And these two other sisters fight and pretend to be all nice and care about him and be really attentive when all they want is, you know, material things in life. Cordelia just wants to be a good daughter. And the father is fooled at first. He can see the two hags, basically. It's like Cinderella and the ugly sisters. He can see them trying to, you know, curry his favour and to help him and, you know, to look out for him. He can see Cordelia doing nothing, doing sod all, and he thinks mistakenly that she doesn't give a toss and he's basically saying to her you know you put nothing in you get nothing back babes something in the region of that I could have slightly got out of context I don't know that play that well but it's it's vaguely that <laughs> okay you can look it up for yourself anyway so I went to Poundland I was going to go to b and M. I I was going to go all the way to Camberley to b and M. But I am house-sitting in Cambly again in a few days, so I'll go then, obviously. I have been to Poundland instead. And in the end, it was a toss-up between Poundland and kind of B&M, but more Poundland and The Range, which is an older shot, which is a quick drive, really, for me. But I went to Poundland, and I really had a budget of a tenner, I can't lie. I could really impress you and say, oh, my budget was 20 quid. I came in under that within 20 quid. But actually, my budget was around 10, maybe 12, maybe 15. And I spent the grand sum of 18, 15. I got a bit carried away. I mean, I've only bought useful bits and bobs and things for cats and dogs as well. No tat, really. But it's so tempting. You think it's so cheap. You start chucking it in the basket, in the baskets on purpose, I think, are designed to be cavernous. They are not just little baskets, they're big trolley baskets, aren't they? Let's be honest. So I just found myself filling it up. Well, not really filling it up, but I spent more than I expected on just a few, a few useful bits, which I did get. Anyway, the first item, which is neither useful nor healthy or virtuous, anything like that, Skinny Dream Cherry Bakewell treats again. I repurchased these. They are absolutely delicious. Skinny Dream Cherry Bakewell, limited edition, special edition, sorry, less than 99 calories per bar. They're delicious. They're basically, oh, dark chocolate and cherry. Is there a better combination? I don't think so. I mean, there are loads of good combinations, but it's indulgent cherry and almond flavoured nougat snack bars with a red caramel layer, red, oh hey, coated in milk chocolate. Sorry, not dark chocolate. £1.50, I think, 
pretty good. I'm sure they were a pound when they first came out and they've, you know, very slyly raised the price because they know that people like this range and the range has grown and grown and grown and grown. It used to be one to three flavours, I think, like the, the plain chocolates, the strawberry ones and the mint ones and there's about um, there must be a dozen flavors i should take a picture and show you or film it or something one day which i will do anyway item one the next item is oh if you're in the uk and you're a similar age or older or even younger do you remember these coconut rings look coconut rings biscuits that are crunchy sort of tea biscuits that you can dunk in your tea but they're coconut so you eat them they're, they're a bit like nice biscuits or nice whatever you want to call them and they've got little bits of flakes of coconut in them and they are delicious and i could easily open these and eat one and then eating up the whole packet so i bought them for my mother and we'll probably share them with a cup of tea or three they were 80p, which I think is a bit of a bug. I'm sure in the supermarket, if you can find them, they're probably a little bit more than that. And I thought that was quite good. Next item. This is for the lovely, where's the other one? Lovely Paula, if she's watching. I got two Pepsi Maxes. I would have bought more, but actually my bag was getting really heavy and I thought the old back and the neck and the shoulders don't want to be lugging all this back. So I took the bus and it's quite a walk to and from the bus but I bought two today, but I would like more really. I'm not gonna lie, because these I can hail these in an evening. So I got Pepsi Max, Cherry, and just Pepsi Max, and they were a quid each, which is a bug. That's really not bad, because if you get them in a meal deal in old Tesco's or Sainsbury's, they're about two pounds and five p now. Absolutely bonkers how much soft drinks cost in the UK. I don't know if it's part of Brexit, but the price have been steadily rising, haven't they? Let's let's face it. Next item, and this is me being a bit stepping out of the box and going with my brave side experimentation and all that. Tango, listen to this, dark berry. I got very excited. I thought it was dark cherry, which is like my dream flavour. Oh, I love anything to do with cherries. Wonderful stuff. But dark berry, sugar-free. And that was, I think it was either 80p or 90p. Where is it? I hope I paid for it. It wasn't 50p, was it? 75p, that is really not bad at all. Again, it would be much more, let's be honest, in um, supermarket. I'll try and get the, the nice things on I haven't got any more sweets or things, have I? Oh, I've got those, I suppose. I'll, I'll be honest and show you a couple of naughty things I bought. It is what it is. I can't say fairer than that or clearer than that. Mentos, three packs. And this is a slightly sinister reason I bought these. Obviously to eat and suck and enjoy. Not going to lie, I love mint flavour. Sweet mint, yum. But when I've eaten too late or had a cup of tea and I've drifted off, you know, like that, and I have, or I've laid down and I have acid reflux and it comes right back up and I basically find myself choking on foul tasting vomit it's vile and losing weight would really help but anyway I find if I've had an acid reflux attack sitting up in bed with mints just sucking on mints getting the tea in my getting the juices flowing so everything goes back down oh sorry it's so gross and having a nice fresh mint flavor in one's mouth instead of vomit it's it really helps and they're delish. And then I got some, sorry, they're a pound. <laughs> yes, pound, three for a pound, pound, pound of three. That is a bargain, isn't it? Really good. Chew it and nostalgia alert. These take me back to my childhood. I don't know if I'm gonna eat them because I don't really need them, but I just saw them for 50p and I picked them up. I mean, look, chew it. So if you're of a certain age from the UK, you'll know what these are. And they're really sweet and, and fruity, slightly artificial tasting after you've had about three packets, but very nice. 50p, I thought that was okay. Nice to have, isn't it? Then, this, oh yeah, I, do you know what? I don't wear deodorant. Um, I don't know if that's TMI. I don't really need to wear, I don't need to wear deodorant. I don't have a problem in that area. I have spicy feet. So my feet are the things that need attention, particularly when I'm hot and sweaty. But anyway, I just found myself buying a deodorant and it is soft and gentle citrus twist, apparently, lime and bamboo. 
and it's gentle on the skin, long lasting fragrance. I'm just aware that when I'm working with other people, I'm used to working alone or more one-to-one -one teaching or working online, but I'm finding if I'm working with people, the place I'm working at right now, it's several flights of stairs, no lift. I get very hot and sweaty. It feels very humid and close there. And I don't think I really have a problem, but I'm just aware that if I sweat from day to day, I just, out of courtesy and politeness to my co-workers, if you want to call them, I don't want the I don't want the stress of the idea of you know being less than fragrant, and I find myself spritzing perfume like the clappers, and I don't want to be wasting perfume or using perfume as deodorant. I spray perfume clothes everywhere. I love it, but I just thought I could wear that. It's not aluminium free. They didn't have any of that in Poundland, but I thought this for travel or for a temporary measure and see how I get on with it. But I am going to be looking for a really natural one. Pro probably lush somewhere like that but this was a quid one pound really really good for travel house sits all that kind of shebang then i have don't laugh when you go in there's a reduction section so everything that's down to like 50p 75p 25p and i saw this it's a kid's spray so it's a kid's body mist hypoallergenic alcohol free as you can see, Toy Story. Who doesn't love Toy Story? I wasn't drawn to the Toy Story um, label. I just saw it for 50p and I was like, oh, what's that? Is that a face spray? Not face spray, facial spray. Is it for hair, like a detangler? And then I saw it was a body mist and just, oh, it's apple scented. So I sprayed it on myself. As you do, spritzed it around. And it was really sweet and fruity and I thought, that's rather lovely. And yeah, looking at it, it says, get ready to take action with this apple scented body mist. I mean, you know, you can even take the label off if you're embarrassed by it. I don't have a problem with that at all. I just think it's lovely and sweet smelling. As you probably know, I don't really like the smell of smoking. And if a smoker gets in my car, <laughs> very passive aggressive, but I will ch -ch 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 because I can smell it on them. Also on the bus. It's one of those things with I'm somewhere on the autistic spectrum. I think I'm an Aspie, quite high functioning, whatever that means. But certain sensory things for me are smell. Smell is, is a big one. And any bad smells, I just, I can't handle it. The smell of toilets, particularly the men's, no offence, but it's true. Um, petrol, um, cigarettes, damp and mould. Oh, I just can't. So anyway, I kind of need this to protect myself. I like to spritz all around me in a halo and inhale it. I'd rather inhale that than some of the smells up there. And it was 50p. Just sitting here, I'm thinking I should have bought more. So I'm going to see how I get on with it. Go back, maybe at the weekend. If they have any more, I'm going to clear the shelves. 50p for a little spray. And being for kids, it's, you know, going to it's going to be lighter, isn't it? To not have any nasties in. It's hypoallergenic and all that jazz. Lovely. Can't go wrong. What else shall I show you next? Oh, yes. Yeah. So I got more of these body form dailies. 21 black liners. They are what they are. You know, if you want to keep nice and fresh and it gives you a bit of confidence. And if you came on, it would help shoulders from the burden. Let's be honest. And they were, wait a sec. I think it says 149 on them, but they were a quid, a quid. That's really quite good. Could be cheaper. I'd love to be even cheaper or have more in the packet, but a pound, it's all right. Absolutely fine. Then a few sort of things for the, I'll say the children. Don't have any children. The pets that I have, the pets I look after. So I've got three of these for the cats I'm going to be looking after soon. So th these were three for three quid. They're 125 each, I think, but I got three for three quid, so a quid each. Licky Licks Salmon, two of them. And then a Licky Licks, let's say Chick Chick. Oh, that's what I say, my dog, Chick Chick, chicken. So those are quite nice. My dog actually probably will fancy one, but they're kind of yogurty licks. And I sort of swirl them around in a kind of, sort of swirly pattern. It's really articulate, Sarah. I, I sort of spray it around in a swirly pattern on the cat's bowls or the surfaces or the floor, and they just have hours of fun just 
following the trail and licking it all up. It's really sweet to watch. I'll film it one day, shall I? <laughs> a bit of content there. And then the next item, so it is just all animal stuff now, but if you're interested. These I use for anything and everything, like baby wipes I use for people, places and pets. Likewise with poop, I was about to say dog droppings, that sounds very, I don't know, not like sound that. <laughs> anyway, so dog bags, poop bags, and look at the colour scheme, aren't they lovely? They're so pretty, the lovely pastely colours and... You could have your kitchen painted any of those colours really, couldn't you? And very on trend. So they were a quid, I believe. What have I done with my receipt now? I just lost the frigging receipt. That was here a minute ago, wasn't it? I swear it was. Well, thank goodness I remember the rest of the prices. That is... Honestly, I've lost my blooming receipt. I'll have to watch this video back in a minute and see where it went. Anyway, so they were a quid. One pound for three poo bags. And as I've said already, I use them for everything. I use them for dog, you know, offerings. I use them for my rubbish in my car. I use them for rubbish in the house. I, I store things in them like um, sanitary towels, um, wet wipes because they often leak everywhere makeup that might leak everywhere not that I really wear makeup just wear a tiny bit of foundation but it leaks I don't want it to leak all over my nice clean bag so they're pretty good I'm gonna keep one in the car one in the house and a spare somewhere else don't know yet who knows then two more no three more dog things well two more pet things got some dog shampoo and condish Fresh baby powder. I've noticed that most dog shampoos are fresh baby powder or cotton fresh, which is lovely and clean. And when your dog's washed and all fluffed up and smells gorgeous, oh, it's so sweet. And vegan friendly, that was two quid. I think I haven't heard this make, I have to say. I normally use something from pets at home, but it says vegan friendly, puppy safe formula, pH balanced, soft and gentle. I could use it for myself as well. To be fair, I have actually used my dog's shampoo because it smells so good. And then I was like, shook, so that was like $8.95. I don't spend that myself. And I didn't need to use it for myself. But anyway, that was two quid. So hopefully that'll be good. My dog's got very sensitive skin, so I'll try it out on her. See how we do. Then I've got some schmackers, which were a pound. They're dog treats. They're not the best treats you can get. You get lovely organic, you know, freshly baked treats. My dog turns her nose up it. She likes Schmackos or she likes Greggs. Yeah, you heard correct. She likes Greggs. We get a vegan sausage roll to share sometimes or the cheese and mozzarella bites. <laughs> Terrible. But we share it and then we save a bit for my mother's dog and, you know, it, it could be worse. And I have my cinnamon latte. Um, but you need to hear this, but we share a fruit pot and it's like our little thing when I take her out that's what she's expecting and it could be worse it could be a McDonald's breakfast which actually I really fancy now I'm thinking about it egg McMuffin and hash brown so good oh I'm really hungry now <laughs> I'm having a curry tonight though vegan curry lentil and last but not least I think that's the last item so nothing else nothing of interest just the curry I've got and rice not rice, naan bread. I'm trying to work out what this is. I'm being really dim. It probably does say somewhere. But I got this. I thought it was a cat toy. Oh, never mind. It's a dog toy. And obviously it's a vegetable. I don't know if it's meant to be broccoli, celeriac, celeriac, however you pronounce it, or Brussels sprouts or cauliflower. I just don't know. It, look, I'll, if you look at it up close, if you have an idea of what it could be that way up and the face is that way isn't it if you have any idea about what this could be can you leave me a comment i have no idea i wish it would say it'd be nice if it identified itself you know what i mean but it's definitely a green veg i mean cauliflower broccoli sprouts i, I don't know but i thought that was adorable and the sensory thing I think it's more cats. The cats that I know love this kind of thing. My my dog isn't into this. She was always into squeakers and things she could crunch and chew up and destroy. So I think I'll probably give this to one of the cats that I look after. The little Elvis, the ginger kitten I looked after. It's an excuse to pop over there, isn't it really? <laughs> to give him a little toy and a licky lick. Salmon flavour. Anyway, how are we doing for time? 
<gasps> under 20 minutes wow that's really good thank you so so much for watching i hope you got an idea of the new bits and bobs you can get from pat gosh what was that I'm not drunk, I promise. I haven't had any alcohol for a long, long time. I'm not a drinker anyway. But I hope you enjoyed having a little look at all the bits you can get from Poundland. It is quite a good one, the one I go to. It, the one I went to today was in Guildford, which is a lovely town anyway. It was peeing down with the rain, which ruined, not ruined the experience, but it was just a bit miserable and got a bit damp and, you know, sodden. It was quite busy, though, for a Thursday. So, you know business is booming but I hope you got a good idea the things you can get I hope you can see that I didn't buy any rubbish or things I don't need I'm very minimalist and I just don't like junk and things and I suppose I could do a haul buy stuff and take it back like some people do but I, I think I wouldn't really get away with that to be honest I think it'd be pretty obvious I have some sort of guilt written all over my face and not I'm innocent or anything like that but I just think that I wouldn't get away with it and <laughs> so I try and buy things that I genuinely want and need or that I have an idea of who I can give it to so if it's a birthday coming up I might buy a birthday present in my haul or base the haul around that if that makes sense but I'm pleased with the stuff I've got it's all perishable like consum cons consumables things that can be used and thrown out after they've been used up if that makes sense there's no real junk or knickknacks or bits and bobs but having said that i have got a charity shop haul coming up and not gonna lie that's not all stuff that i need i've only got a few bits so far so i'm gonna upload it film it and upload it when i've got enough stuff for a proper haul but i'll tell you a couple of things i've got for that already which i was really pleased with you could, honestly some of the things you find sometimes are really impressive one item is a brand new perfume it's an ariana grande the singer you know she has a perfume range it's a perfume by her it was brand new in a box bargain and i will share that with you next time also i got a dvd who who watches dvds anymore i know i do so i got a dvd of a film that has recently come out it was at the oscars so you can guess what that is it stars Emma Stone <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say so those are two items that I've picked up that I didn't need but I'm going to enjoy and then the DVD I will pass on to someone else anyway anyway so once I have got more stuff for that haul I will upload thank you so very much for watching I've probably babbled on too long watch as much as you want and have a laugh that's absolutely fine if there's anything else any questions you have or any comments please feel free to write whatever you want in the comments and take care of yourselves and of each other have a lovely week see you all again soon bye